Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the midline of a triangle. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So basically guys, ang definition ng midline, the midline or yung tinatawag natin bilang mid-segment of a triangle is a segment joining the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle. Again, yung word na midline is also known as mid-segment of a triangle. So sabi dito, uh, this is segment that joins the two sides or the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle. So let's say for example, I have here triangle A, B, and C. So pag kinuha natin yung midpoint ng AC or ng side AC, let's say for example, uh, the midpoint is, let's say this is D. We have here point D. When you say midpoint, ibig sabihin niyan, um, that this segment or this side AC is divided into two equal parts. Meaning, yung segment AD is congruent with segment DC. Same sila ng measurement. Okay? So we can say that AD is congruent to DC because D is the midpoint of AC. And on the other side, we have your side CB. Let's get the midpoint of CB. Let's say, for example, this is point E. Natin ang point. This is point E. So since yung E natin is the midpoint of segment CB, we can say that CE is congruent with EB. Ibig sabihin yan, guys, they are the same in terms of measurement. So, lagyan natin ang ano dito ng marking. So, they are congruent. And, eto na po yung ating midline. This is your midline or mid-segment. It joins the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle. So, yan natin. I-correct natin dalawang midpoints natin. And, in this case, or in this scenario, your midline is DE. DE is the midline. Okay? Yan yung midline natin. Again, it is a segment joining the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle. And another thing na kailangan natin matutunan about midline of a triangle is that this midline, DE, is parallel is parallel to the third side of your triangle which is AB. Okay? That is your midline or mid-segment. So, again, this is parallel to your third side. So, lagyan natin ng, 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 ng symbol. Okay? Ibig sabihin sila parallel. And another thing about midline of a triangle after the definition, it is important for you to understand what is midline theorem. So, midline theorem states that the midline of a triangle which joins the two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side of the triangle. Ito na yung na-mention natin. DE is parallel to AB. The third side of the triangle and speaking of the measurement or kung gaano kahaba yung DE natin, makukuha natin yung measurement niya because and half the length of the third side of a triangle. So what is meant by this theorem? Sabi sa theorem na to, if this is your midline, it is parallel to your third side. Na-mention na natin yun. And isa pang binabanggit dito is about the measurement of your midline. Pag sinabi natin measurement of the midline, ang formula lang is simply, is for example, this is your midline. You have your midline, DE, is equal to the third side, AB, divided by 2, or 1 half AB. Ganito ka simple yung ating midline theorem. Again, uh, in the next part of our video, I will try to give you example para mas ma-play natin yung konsepto nitong theorem na to. And I will give you another example na we will solve for the value. Now, let's discuss item number one or example number one. We are here given this kind of triangle wherein M and N are the midpoints of the two sides of the triangle and your AC is equal to 28. Sabi dito, find MN. So, your MN is the midline. So, given the formula kanina, your midline 
is equal to half of the third sign. So the formula must be mn is equal to ac over 2. So to find the mn or to find the midline or the length of the mid segment, okay, midline natin, simply substitute the value of your third sign, which is 28. So mn is equal to 28 over 2. And simplifying this, this will give you mn is equal to 14 units. Ito ngayon yung length ng ating midline, 14. Okay? So, ganyan yung kadali yung pag-solve ng ating midline if ganito yung given natin. So, I hope na nakuha nyo na yung konsepto on how to calculate the midline of a triangle. Now, let's move on with a complicated example wherein meron tayong variable x. For this item, given D and E as your midpoints, so given this triangle A, B, C, the midpoints are point D and point E. And we are given here DE is equal to 3x minus 5. The length of the midline is 3x minus 5. And your third side, BC, is equal to 26. So I believe find x and DE. Now, before we find the value of x and the length of DE, we will use the formula. Your midline, which is DE, so you have the formula DE, the midline is equal to your third side, BC over 2. And to solve this problem, to find the value of x first, substitute the value of d, which is 3x minus 5. Your d is 3x minus 5. So this one will become 3x minus 5 over, I sorry, equals your bc, which is 26 over 2. And as you can see, we can, we can simplify the right side of the equation in which this will become 13. So you have 3x minus 5 is equal to 13. And transpose negative 5 to the other side of the equation, we can have 3x is equal to 18. Okay? This will become positive. And dividing both sides by 3, your x is equal to 6. This is the value of x. Your x is equal to 6. And lastly, to find the value of your DE or the length of your mid line or mid segment, Sabi kanina, your DE is equal to 3x minus 5. Since your x is equal to 6, directly substitute the value of x here in 3x minus 5. This will become 3 times 6 minus 5. And multiplying this, this will give you 18 minus 5. And your DE is simply equal to... 13. This is the length of your midline DE. So, kung i-compare nyo naman, 13 is half of 26. Right? Because in our theorem, the length of the midline or the mid-segment is half of the third side. So, I hope na nakuha nyo yung konsepto or yung solution natin kung paano ba i-apply yung midline theorem in solving for the problems um, regarding midline of a triangle. So request ko lang, if merong ang question or requested topic that you want me to discuss within our channel, please don't forget na mag-comment sa ating comment section. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!